Yerp, it's Perp, back with another video, and I just got done checking out from Season 1, Episode 6, and just when you thought you could start to put the puzzle together, they keep continuously throwing these curveballs, but I don't want to waste no more time, let's get right into this review, because there's a lot to talk about, and I have a lot of theories and just thoughts on this episode. I like that this episode started off with Father Ca Crabtree, Cotry, you know, with his like his little Sunday service. You have um, all the different characters just doing their thing. You see Julie there; she gets some flowers. That's very, very important. Pay attention to that because I think that's gonna be something big for next episode. Um, and this is a very fascinating episode, man, overall, with um, Tabitha talking to Father Cabtree and asking him, like, are we dead or are we alive? And he's like, his response was perfect. He's like, does it even matter? And I always felt like there was something up with his character, but we definitely get to kind of pick his brain a little bit to see where his mind's at because he always seemed like the calm cool and collective one but no he's got some really dark secrets because we find out that he has sarah uh tied down in the basement of where his church is at and we'll get into exactly what he wants from sarah but before we can get into that let's talk about another one of my favorite parts of this episode and that's kenny and boyd um, Kenny's still really traumatized and taking his father's death to heart and he's really having a hard time just, you know, he's frustrated. And at the same time, you know, Boyd's trying to do what he promised he was going to do and save everybody. He's kind of caught up in that. You have Jim, like, looking through these electrical wires and seeing that there's no, like, wiring in these wires and so how are the lights still on um this is where jade kind of comes crashing in because he's still trying to figure out his own way and he kind of takes jim along the way with him to kind of um see if they can get a signal with this radio but this stuff with you know sarah and father Captree is just the the dopest shit here i think it's very important I think everything in this uh, episode was very important, but I think this is really key because he wants her to kind of get redeemed. But why, you know, I guess because she wants to keep her here because she he tells her, like, I could give you up and, you know, they would put you in the box. And he doesn't want that. He, he wants her to still do something good. But but at what cost? So going back to Jim and Jade, they're just kind of uh, looking for different parts that they can use. Like they're looking for a battery they can use for the radio while Tabitha and poor Ethan, he's like traumatized by Sarah. He doesn't even want to go up to the diner. Um, she's just going there to put the people that used to live in the house, uh, their stuff in this little storage that they keep in the kitchen. And something caught... Tabitha's eye that looks familiar. We'll get into that. Boyd goes to look for Christy. They have this really interesting conversation because Boyd tries to ask Christy, like, you know, um, what's going on with uh Kenny? She pretty much says, like, yo, he just probably just needs a father figure in his life right now. He he's going through a lot. He's, you know, and I'm wondering if Boyd's ever going to be able to kind of rectify whatever um mend whatever problems he has with his actual son so now let's get right into this father crabtree stuff because this is interesting because sarah lets uh father know that the voices were telling her to you know they're just trying to get out they're just like them which it's really interesting because um that means that they're kind of stuck in some type of dimension or something like that so yeah it, it's really interesting and 
Father Crantry just like his whole purpose, like everybody has an individual kind of thought of why they're here. His is kind of more biblical. So that's really fascinating to me. Let me know how you guys feel about these scenes with Father Crantry and like the whole Sarah thing. And what are some of your favorite parts throughout this whole entire episode? So Tabitha takes Ethan to go on a little adventure, really not a much of an adventure, pretty much to find out where are the wires to these these elect uh, these uh, outlets. Like, where is this all leading to? Um, you have Jim and Jade. They're trying to climb this tree so they can get the best reception. But Jade kind of starts to see these visions again of like these like Civil War soldiers, which I don't know what's the significance of that. And he's seeing these symbols, but it takes like Jim to kind of snap out of it. And he just kind of runs off and he starts to talk with um, he goes back to the diner to talk with Kenny's mom and Kenny's mom notices the the symbols that he's been drawing or just been paying attention to and he shows she shows him that this has been a thing and some doubts are starting to connect so going back to Sarah real quick because she's starting to hear the voices again and they're just wanting to they they just want uh Father Catry to know that they are real and they know that he's uh what he's done when he uh, first arrived here and to also talk about the two cars earlier and stuff and how those were the bad people. I I don't know where this is really going, but it's, it's really fascinating because man, I, I, I'm just, I'm so intrigued by this world and just the mystery behind it. Cause I, I definitely think it's just like some type of like alternate dimension or just some type of like, I don't know what it is, but it, it's kind of interesting that all these people came from different parts of the country, but why here of all places? I like that we got, you know, Boyd and Kenny to have this moment, this like kind of father son moment. He he says like, yeah, I got Parkinson's. That's, you know, something that got passed down to me. So when shit hits the fan, I'm, I'm gonna need you to like step in. But if you're not ready, I'm not going to go anywhere until you're ready, pretty much. And I really like that scene. Jim comes back to the crib and he sees that the, the, the walls are all messed up and whatnot and goes to talk to Tabitha. And Tabitha pretty much says, like, you remember this bracelet that um I gave to you when we first started dating? Somehow it popped up here. So that's another thing that kind of threw me off. So I was like, OK, I have no idea what's going on, but. I'm still in there. I'm still in there, and it's it's really intriguing. So then Father Crabtree goes to pretty much dig up the stuff that he buried, and it's just like, wow, this must be a sign from God. So I don't know. I feel like he's kind of losing it. I feel like everybody is slightly losing their mind, and I like that it affects everybody. It doesn't matter how long you've been there. You're still going to feel the effects of this place. Then the episode ends with, you know, Boyd and Kenny having like a little catch. It's really short, but I like that scene. Then it starts to become nighttime and you get this guy that we don't get a name to. Uh, he's the one that was um, leaving those flowers out for this thing. And I think he's going to let one of these creatures in and it's going to kill somebody. There's four graves. So four people are going to pop most likely die in the next few episodes. Overall, this was a really great episode. I, I enjoyed it. There's a lot more mystery. They keep stacking on top of uh, different types of themes. And we still haven't seen the monsters since, like, what, episode two? And I really like the atmosphere that, you know, people start to see things. I definitely think there's a connection between, like, Jade, Sarah, and, like, Ethan. And maybe some other people that they just don't, not aware of. Are, however, starting to get somewhere, but I still think there's a long road ahead for them to kind of figure out and piece things together for them to escape whatever thing this this place is. Let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments below. Till next week, I'll see y'all later. Peace.